yes, welcome to beautiful Lake Tahoe, California. And guess what I'm standing next to? Yep, you guessed it, the Tahoe. And of course, the sibling Suburban. And GM flew me out here to test drive both the Tahoe and the Suburban. And that is coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. The Suburban is uh, now with the 2015 introduction as we see here is in its uh, now 12th generation and so it's uh, the longest lasting name plated uh, vehicle um, in the world. So when you say Mustang, this is older. That's when you say Corvette, this is older. The oldest, <laughs> oldest. Yeah, a lot of brand equity here. Uh, many, many loyal customers for the uh, Suburban and the Tahoe uh, vehicles. Back then, in 1935, it was more of a station wagon, a carry-all, and today this is still a carry-all, and maybe that's why this is the oldest nameplate, because there will always be room in the marketplace for a car that can haul people, can haul all their stuff, can tow their horses, their boats, and at a towing capacity of just over 8,000 pounds, this will definitely tow your boat, even a very large boat. Now one of the cool things about the twins is that you can just hit this button right here and open the glass part. And why is that? Because if you've ever been on vacation and just stuff the back end full of all your gear that you're afraid to open it because you know it's going to jump out at you, well not anymore. With this you can reach in, get your groceries, or not be afraid of it all coming tumbling out if you open it up the entire way. Lower handle. <laughs> Lower handle, thank you. There we have it. And of course. Check this out. There's not a lot of room back here. If you want a lot of room, you gotta go for the Suburban and not the Tahoe. There are two easy ways to tell a Suburban from a Tahoe. You're looking at a Tahoe, check out the cutout in the rear door. Over here on the Suburban, look at that, flat line, no cutout for the wheel well. But the easier way, of course, is the back of the vehicle. Look at all the space in the Suburban behind the third row. I mean, you could put a fourth row in here. In the Tahoe, not so much space, but same electric fold down seats. And we're being honest, look at all that space when you fold those third row seats down. That's probably enough space for most people and that's why the Tahoe outsells the Suburban. Under the hood of the Suburban slash Tahoe is the same 5.3 liter V8 that you'll find in the Silverado. And it puts out 355 horsepower and 383 pound foot of torque. Now that's a lot of power. And you think with that much power and torque, it'd get bad fuel economy. But no, this engine has a trick up its sleeve. It can deactivate four of the cylinders. So when you're cruising, when you're not hauling, when you're just kind of driving down the highway, it runs in four cylinder mode. Which means that on my hour and a half mixed use drive, I'm getting about 22.1 miles to the gallon, which is respectable for a very comfortable big vehicle like this. All right, I'm in the Suburban. I bet you this is going to be relatively leisurely. It's a big heavy vehicle, but let's find out. Put it to the test. Here we go. Got it floored. Not bad. There's Perky. Nest underneath the hood. And here comes 60. Oh, ho, ho. Looky there, looky there. 8.13, 8.13. That is mighty impressive for such a big monster traditional SUV. When I mean traditional, I mean body on frame. I am impressed by how quickly this thing will scoot to 60. Or it could be the fact that I'm from Colorado and when we get down here to sea level, things are just a lot faster. All right, let's try it one more time. See if we can break that magic eight berry. I'm gonna give it a little bit of juice and just let it go. There is no sport mode in this, but 
It's knocking off shifts like you wouldn't believe. And there we have it, 60. Oh, my. All right, 8.58, a little bit slower, but nevertheless, very impressive for such a big monster of a vehicle. You know, the other thing we've added to, to these trucks is electric power steering. It makes uh, the steering uh, uh, great in, in, uh, in, in uh, parking lot type maneuvers, and then when you get on the highway, the buildup is really nice. Now, the interior of the new Suburban slash Tahoe is a really nice place to be. They've really modernized it up, and they've added a lot of safety technology, so lane departure warning, blind spot monitoring, basically all the stuff that you would want in a modern, large, and relatively luxurious vehicle is in this car. And it ought to be, because this particular Suburban starts at $64,000, but as optioned, I'm at 71 k which is a lot of money for a lot of vehicle. Now keep in mind the difference between the Tahoe and the Suburban, about 3000 So this is a little bit more expensive, but then you get a lot more room in the back. So getting in and out of the Suburban has never been easier. Check this out. One button. Look at that. See, folds and of course reclines. And when I get back here, yes indeed, tons of room, especially with the captain seats. This vehicle has just a ginormous amount of room. Okay, you're saying my feet are in the section that's in between the two captain seats, but you know what? Even way back here, there's a lot of room. It's certainly why, combined with the GMC twins, GM owns most of this market. In fact, if you're looking for a big family hauler, chances are most people will choose one of the GM trucks. When, when you look at the design of the front end, you start with the, the, the jeweled headlamp here, uh, HID um, uh, projector beam with a DRL lit, lit signature there. Um, iconic Chevrolet uh, front end here. Um, tremendous number of uh, driver uh, alert and driver assistance technologies. And For example, at the front of the vehicle here, uh, front park assist features on this, ve on this vehicle, which helps uh, people uh, confidently park. Now in terms of competition, there really isn't much. Think to the Sequoia, you know, these big seven passenger three row vehicles that used to roam the earth with abandon, but when fuel prices topped $4 a gallon, people kind of moved away from them. And speaking of fuel economy, when we last spoke, I said we were getting 22. Now that I've been off the highway and kind of vlogging it around these back streets a little bit, I'm down to 19.4, and that is with cylinder deactivation. So that's not grand, but I think if you're going to spend over $70,000 for this particular Suburban or a Tahoe, um, 19 is going to be fine. The cluster is a, is a great uh, six-gauge cluster with a 4.2-inch uh, uh, driver information center with all kinds of information here, everything from your, your trip to your fuel economy to your tire pressure. Uh, you name it, that all uh, comes up here. Your forward collision alert, I mentioned that earlier. You can control the gap to the uh, vehicle in front of you with the switch here on the steering wheel. All right, so you might be asking yourself, how does this big bad boy drive? Let's find out. about this vehicle that I can tell you right now is that it's extremely quiet. GM calls it whisper quiet. Let me turn off the air conditioner. Listen. I'm whispering now. Pretend that we're sharing an intimate moment. All right, let's not pretend that. It is quiet and it has extremely good straight line stability. On the highway, you feel supremely confident that it's not wandering around the road. And on these twisty turns, yeah, it's got electronic steering which means that there's uh, no parasitic loss now coming from the engine to run the power steering it does make it feel a little bit more numb but then you know what this vehicle isn't about carving corners it's about taking you and your family across the country maybe pulling a trailer and speaking of pulling a trailer 8,000 pounds plus uh, which is phenomenal of course based on the Silverado but I can tell you the mirrors just way too small Tremendous um, design here, and, and the gauges, 
the buttons, the knobs for uh, headlights or your four-wheel drive system or your trailer brake controls or uh, adjustable pedals, your uh, retractable running boards here, lane departure, uh, stability control and your uh, front and rear park assist all easy to see here. Your uh, wiper controls are, are all uh, mounted including your rear right, right in one place. The trucks now have um, optional uh, power tilt and telescopic column. All right, gang, I'm in the Tahoe now, zero to 60. I'm suspecting this should be a little bit faster because it's a little bit shorter, that's less weight. But you never know, these zero to 60 times can be a little tricky. I'm gonna give it a little bit of gas and just floor it. There we go, floored, not a great start. Here comes the power, same eight cylinder, and there is 60. Oh, looky there, just what I thought. 8.3 in the Suburban and voila. 8.0 in the Tahoe. So if you're looking for the speedster of the bunch, Suburban Tahoe, Suburban Tahoe, oh, I don't know, I don't care about the room, I want it to be faster than this is the one to get. 0.13 seconds faster. I wonder what that's like, maybe like a quarter of a flash of an eye, a blink of an eye. It's hard to say, huh? It doesn't really matter, guys. I mean, it's pretty much equal. All right. You gotta love those retractable running boards. That is luxury. So on the TFL scale of buy it, lease it, rent it, or forget it, I'm not gonna give the Tahoe or Suburban a rating because it's not fair to you and it's not fair to GM because I've only driven this car for about an hour. So you'll have to come back to TFL car when we have it for a week to test. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fast Lane Car. Remember, check out tflcar.com for all your car news, views, and reviews. See you next time, ciao. Now, if you recall last time, I took the Chevy Tahoe, the short one, not the Suburban, from 0 to 60 in 8 seconds. Now, here I am, identical stretch of road. This time, I'm in the GMC Yukon Denali. This vehicle has the bigger 420 horsepower, 460 pound-foot of torque, which is what counts engine. So, it should be faster. Plus, plus, well, there's no plus. It just should be faster. Let's give it a shot. Here we go. Just floored. Oh, yeah, you can feel it. It does have more umph, and there is 60 right there.